coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ Allegro 5 platform tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to finish off where we where we ended off last tutorial. So it shouldn't really take too too long. Um, I just didn't know how long it was going to take and I didn't want it to reach like the 15 minute mark or, or even longer. I, Cause I noticed that the longer the video is, the, the less people watch and the more bored you guys get. So, anyways, uh, we have the player rec dot intersects, and so if they intersect, then we're going to want to do some checks. We want to know where it has intersected. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that if player dot rect dot we will check for bottom collision so if the bottom of the player is greater than or equal to the top of the tile rect and the player dot previous rect so if the previous positions dot bottom was less than or equal to the tile rect dot top that means it was a bottom collision and when it's a bottom collision what we will do is we'll set the player's position and uh, the player's position will be equal to. Uh, we could just say that the player dot second will be equal to the tile rect dot bottom subtract thirty two. Now, why do I subtract thirty two? Well, um, if we set the player's y position equal to the bottom of the tile. That means the top left corner of the player is going to be equal to. Oh no, it should be equal to top. Sorry. That means the Y position is going to be equal to the top of the tile, meaning the player is going to be put inside the tile. So what we need to do is get the top of the tile, subtract the player's height, and then that will give us uh, the correct position. So the play it looks like the player is standing on top of the tile. Now, uh, I'm fully aware that I do not need these braces, but in further tutorials, we're going to be putting more in these stuff. So I put the braces ahead of time so we don't need to add them later. So we have an else if. So else if player wrecked. So we're going to check for bottom collision. So if the top of the player is less than or equal to tile wrecked dot bottom and the previous position. Previous top position was greater than the tile rect dot bottom. That means there is a uh, the there's a collision at the bottom, and therefore we just set tile rect dot top. We we just set it equal to tile rect dot top. Now what what am I doing here? Because those last few things you might not have understood, and since it's a brand new video, I have time to explain. So. Uh, what this is saying is that if the current position of the player, it, the if the current, the bottom of the player, if it's greater than the top of the tile, which means it is overlapping it, if it's greater than or equal to it, and the previous position, meaning uh, what it was last frame, if it was above it or it was equal to it, that means now we have collided with it, right? And uh. So so it knows that it is a bottom collision, but c the reason why we have to check for the previous is, is like so Let's say that uh, let me open up paint For for those of those of you who don't really understand it and for the people that do understand it I'm sorry, but I, I need to make it understandable to uh, everybody so let's say this is our, our tile and Let's say this is our player so our let's say our player moved towards the right and it hit it right here, right? So let's say the previous position of the player was right here. Okay? So what's gonna happen is that when we check right here, the bottom of the player is indeed greater than the top of the box, right? And if we didn't check for the previous position, it would detect this as a bottom as a collision as a top collision but when we check for the previous position since the previous y position was not less than or equal to the top that means it is not uh, a top collision 
But then when we check for the left collision, it's going to say the previous position was towards the left of the box. And now we are overlapping, which means that we must have been here. We came here. That means the collision is a, uh, is a side collision rather than the top collision. And I hope that really clarified it a bit more. Uh, uh, I hope it was clear to you guys. Like I hope it clarified it at least a little bit. If it didn't, then you can leave a comment below. So that's for the top collision. And for the side collision, we're just going to say player.rect. And we're going to say that if the right side of the player is greater than or equal to the top rect dot left, and the previous position, which is I just showed you. So if the previous right was less than or equal to the tau rect dot left, that means there is a collision on the left side. So we'll set position dot first equal to tau rect dot left subtract the player's width. Last but not least, we'll say player dot rect dot left if the left is less than or equal to tau rect dot right and the previous rect dot left was greater than or equal to tau rect dot right that means there's a collision on the right side of the tile and we'll set collision uh, position first equal to tau rect dot right so if we are to run this pro wait actually it will not work yet what we have to do is go to our gameplay screen.cpp and then the map.update we have to pass in our player in there okay and our update has to come after our player so then they can get the like the wrecked the player wrecked and all that stuff so make sure it's updating after after the player update so if we run this, hopefully it works like it's supposed to. Just gotta wait for it to compile. Okay, so we did get some errors. So let me check to see where the errors are coming from. Okay, I think I figured out the error and what it was was a really stupid error that I should have never did. So uh, if we go to our player.cpp, remember how I had this as a previous rec dot is equal to rect. Well, when we deleted the rect, we deleted the instance that both of them are pointing to. So when it tried to delete the previous rect, then uh, there was nothing to delete and therefore we got an error. So let's just make a new float rect. And we'll just copy everything first position dot second 32 32. So let's run this. Let's see if it, it will change things. I'm not sure if it will. It should. And yes, it does change things. So if we run this, and oops, there's no collision. And I just remember there's something that we forgot to do. So let's check this out. So firstly, we don't need to do all our collisions with, uh, we don't need to check all the collisions like so. Uh, all we need to do, it, we need to check only if the tile is solid, right? So we can check, we can say if state and state is equal to state dot solid. So we can only, we will only be checking for uh, solid tiles. So we only need to check for solid tiles and one thing that we forgot to do is in our layer update I'm I was so sure that we did this but guess not So tiles dot size and we'll say tiles i dot update and we'll update the player so let's see if it updates it in the map so yeah we do that and let's run this hopefully this will work this time so yeah it does work so as you can see when we touch it 
Once you hold it, it, it will keep on trying to walk. When we let go, it will appear in the right position it's supposed to be. So we check all sides of collision. It works. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The bottom collision is not working. So there's something wrong with the, bot uh, with the bottom collision. So let's check the bottom collision real quickly. We might have made a minor error. So if we look, our error is in our tile.cpp, and we just have to ch change that to tile rect dot bottom, and that should fix the problem. So yeah, so now we can see bottom collision and, and all, and we can see all the side collision and stuff. So now that we've got the collision down, now we can implement some gravity and all that stuff in the next few tutorials to add in the, the proper collision. So I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for making it so long. I didn't really intend it for it to be this long, but don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and bye for now.